Welcome to another episode of our Property Lim Brothers Landed Home Tours and today we're taking you to District 20. This detached home is something that you should stay tuned for because it has some very special characteristic. There's a Northwest line, man. What? And tonight is a playground. We are kings of the world. The McRitchie Reservoir is just in your backyard. Anywhere it's homebound. We are kings of the world. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Let's go have a look at this place. This is Westlake Gardens, a detached land plot sitting amongst semi-detached two-storey zoning. So this is incredibly rare. Technically, this is a cow de sac because it leads on to a very private area right here. This adds to the privacy of this entire home. It sits on a freehold plot of land, standing at an estimate of about 5275 square feet. Frontage is about 16.5, depth of about 34.5, and towards the back end, the width there is about 9 odd over meters. Due to its wide frontage, you can comfortably park up to about three to four cars. And because this is a detached status, you do get two setbacks on your left and right hand side of the home, which of course allows in more natural daylight. Let me just take you around the side of the home. This is where you get a side lawn area. You can put in some outdoor furniture, chill out with your family, or if you're having gatherings or barbecues, this would be an ideal area. You can also throw in a gazebo if you kind of want to shield the sunlight or from the rain. Not forgetting the earlier part of the video, this is where I came into the home from. This side door leads you out to your backyard, which is McRitchie Reservoir itself. So if you're going for your morning stroll, you can actually exit via this door. Heading on, very beautiful garden, you can do some planting. Something interesting is also this entire backyard area. It has been tiled up with little pockets of space for you to kind of do some planting as well. And this entire backyard area is free for you and your family to utilize. You can actually have your kids kind of scooter around. If you head back, you have your laundry area with water inlets and things like that. You can also utilize this space as your wet kitchen. The shelters on this area have already been installed almost to the end, but still allowing natural ventilation from the side. There are also storage cabinets already done up. Sink and water point is also available in this zone. Something interesting you also get is this actually leads on to your kitchen area. So later on, we'll head in from here. Just want to share about this two door. So this is your WC. If you have a live-in helper, they can live in this room. This room also comes with three panels of colonial style windows. Those. Because you are a detached status, all along this side profile, you also get a lot of additional panels of windows as you'll see later on as we tour you around the home. All the bathrooms have also been renovated just a couple of years ago. This one, of course, has a shower facility, sink, and your WC. It's a full functioning bathroom. And let's enter the home from this area right here. <laughs> So as you enter, this is the kitchen area of the home. You still have an internal stove if you're doing some lighter cooking. The countertops are all in a very solid granite surface. As we all know, it's very hardy. They can last many years to come. Storage cabinets at the top and bottom and your fridge zone over here as well. This entire space is a secondary dining zone. If not, I think you can also convert this into a semi-bar area if you want to keep your alcohol or whiskey and stuff like that. This kitchen also enjoys tons of windows. There's like two, four, six eight, like nine panels of windows. You get to have all this natural light streaming into the home. Before I show you around the rest of the home, let's have a chat about the location. We're actually just off Lonnie Road area. Towards the south, you actually find the Caldecott Hill, the Good Class Bungalow areas. Towards the north, that's where you have the McRitchie Reservoir, as well as the Thompson Landed Enclaves. From Caldecott MRT Station, which is just under 12 minutes walk away, Circle Line, which takes you two stops to Bishan, which is the interchange station, to hop onto the north-south line. One stop in the opposite direction, that takes you to Botanic Gardens, which you can transfer to the downtown line. Caldecott Station is also the 
the interchange station for the Thomson East Coast Line that takes you up towards the Woodlands which was just opened in August of 2021. If you're driving, it's also very easily accessible from Lonnie Road and Braddell Road towards the CTE and PIE. Now let's have a look at some of the amenities and schools within this area. For healthcare, of course, Mount Alvernia Hospital is just a two minutes drive away. Malls situated nearby, you have Thompson Plaza, Junction 8, as well as the Topayo Hub. Schools within one kilometer, you have Marymount Convent School. Two kilometer radius, you have CHIJ Primary Topayo, King Ching School, Guangyang Primary School, as well as Catholic High School. Coming back into the home, let's have a look at this very beautiful living and dining zone. It ain't no thing to do my thing, it's what I did the best. Yes. I cop that crib and bought two chains and then I hid the rest. These are all clad in very solid marble. There's a little step down here. Something you also notice throughout the homes is that you also get this very French colonial windows. This living zone I think is fantastically sized. Right now you have like a super huge five-seater sofa. And your viewing distance from the TV console wall ideally would be in this position so you can do up a very nice feature wall in this zone. Right behind this couch, these three panels, you can actually slide them open so you can get an interplay of indoor and outdoor spaces. Because of a detached status, again, look at this fronting of window panels. Slightly tinted, but it still looks very, very bright. And let's just head on up to the dining zone. There's like this empty space here, even after we put in like a six seater. So this can definitely go in a more elongated fashion to probably sit up to like 10 or 12 pack side buffet over at the back over here. For more storage, you can also display some ornaments like what our home staging team has done. Again, sorry, just to remind you, <laughs> Because of the detail, home, you get so many windows. This is also an openable panel. You can enter and exit via this zone as well. So there are multiple entry points within the home. The main door, there are three panels from your living room. These two panels in your dining zone and over at the back of the kitchen. Multiple entry zones, which is great. Especially if you're living in such a huge house, you can just conveniently ingress and egress out. Cool, but I can't blame you. I won't shame you. Let's check out this bedroom that's located on level one. I love material things because they light up the emptiness around me. Ideally, this will be a guest room or a granny's room. It's very good size. Your single bed already placed in. You still have space for just this huge armchair right here. My legs are pretty long, I'm like 1.9 meters, as most of you know. Still a lot of space to kind of maneuver around. Wardrobes, they are tucked away in a corner, doesn't jut out into your walkway. As we mentioned, the toilets are all redone just a couple of years ago. Very good condition, very well maintained. Something we noticed in the bathrooms is also there is internal ventilator installed, although you still have a window to dispel the moisture. This bedroom also has a very nice fronting, four panels, colonial style windows, you can kind of swing them open. And as we exit, a storage area under the stairs. Not forgetting, of course, your fiber optic point is already installed right in this room here. Now let's head on up and check out the rest of the home. Before we show you level two, let's have a look at the landed landscape within this vicinity. First off, you have the old type of landed home, usually meant for a full rebuild. And the second type that we have is usually those that are within the 20 odd years of age. Similarly to like the one that we have here today, structure is still very well intact. You can just simply do a renovation or maybe some A&A. &A. The third type are usually those that are between about 10 to 15 years old. Those would be slightly newer. Perhaps you just need to do an interior renovation and then you can move on in. And the last type are of course those that some developers have rebuilt to a full brand new landed home. If you're looking for a detached home and you want something that stands at at least a 5,000 square feet of land or larger, let's have a look at what's available on the property portals for the D11, D20 kind of zoning. We only see two, one that's listed as Lonnie Road area, brand new detached homes, asking price of upwards from $12 million with a land size of about 6,000, putting it at a per square foot pricing of estimate 2,000 PSF. And in the Caldercourt Hill estate, a listing going at about a land size of 10,000 odd square feet with asking price of 19 million. This property that we have here is listed at $8 million. Let's say you're planning to rebuild this entire space. The unit that we have here today with a land size of about 5,200 odd square feet. If we do a full rebuild in the near future, a build up, let's say, of about 6,500 square feet, multiplied by a build up cost of about $300 per square foot, that will work out to a sum of about 2.1 million. So if we put the two and two together, that would then amount to a total price tag of about 10.1 million for a rebuild of this home. Compared to a brand new kind of home with a $12 million price tag, I think it's totally up to you which you kind of prefer.
this home I think is actually in a pretty move-in kind of condition. You can simply do some renovation. We think this home hits the PLB trifecta sweet spot because in terms of pricing, a price that $8 million starting from, which puts us at a PSF of about 1,500 odd per square foot. And in terms of its locality, I think this is something of a rare gem to find because you have a backyard which is McRitchie Reservoir itself. How often can you tell your friends that you live right beside my Ritchie Reservoir. And last but not least, of course, the freehold status allows you to live here with your family for a long period of time. So right now, let's have a look at the bedrooms on level two. I know that you think it's so important to convince everyone else that you're not boring, but it's making me feel like my skin is crawling. I keep pouring out my empathy to someone I don't even this is the master bedroom of the home. Super humongous. You have an internal mini living room within your master bedroom. If not, you can also convert this into a very sizable study room. As we step up, it's also fronted with the views of Macritchie Reservoir, one of the best views in the entire home itself. Towards the main gate, that's your southeast facing. And towards your back, you have northwest facing. And again, your master bedroom has tons of windows. I'm not going to count them. There's just a lot of them. So a lot of natural light. Something interesting also on the outer facade, as you saw earlier, it has this like scalloped design. That's also something rare to find in today's modern architecture. This zone over here is dedicated as your wardrobe semi walk-in closet style. You have a dresser as well. The master bathroom is also a good size. You have a standing shower, huge vanity to put all your bath accessories, more storage behind the panels here. I love the lighted kind of backlit LED and of course more storages below to put in all your bath accessories, huge window to dispel after your bath. Let's head on to the other bedroom. This is so Flooring for your second level is set in this laminate kind of finish. I think it's still in very good condition as well. This is one of the common bedrooms, pretty good size. It's currently a study kind of setup, so you have like a couch area to do some reading. There's for your kids as well. This room, you can definitely put in minimally a queen size kind of bed. Panels of windows right behind it, allowing a lot of natural daylight. This is bedroom number three, the junior ensuite. Similar to the one downstairs that we saw, it has an ensuite bathroom. Very good room space. You have a queen size bed put in, wardrobe tucked away in the corner again. And of course, your bathroom is also already redone. Very well maintained. You can just simply maybe change out some of the bath accessories for hygiene purposes and you can move on right in. Now, two other common bedrooms actually share this common bath. A very huge common bath. <laughs> you have a huge shower space, large vanity as well. LED backlit, more storage at the top. Drawers at the bottom as well. So the last bedroom. Very huge room. It's like queen size bed. There's still like so much space to kind of move around. There's actually a little panel or window here that overlooks the McRitchie Reservoir. Very nice greenery fronting your room. Something I think you can possibly do if you get the relevant approval is that this actually leads on to a patio space. So what I think you can do is open up this space into like a roof terrace or patio space that you can exit via the room. This room is so huge that you still have space actually for a work desk or study desk. You can also do up your wardrobes in this panel of the wall or you can do it in this corner as well. One additional thing that I want to share with you is that if you need more bedrooms, this entire secondary living zone can also be converted into a fifth bedroom on the top floor. You have a lot of windows as you see. Facing is again towards your McRitchie Reservoir area. If not, if the rooms are sufficient, this can be kept as a secondary living zone. So if you're watching the news downstairs and your kids kind of want to watch Netflix or YouTube right on up here, you can also convert this into like a media room where you can kind of watch your movies together with your kids. I think this is a very flexible kind of space that you can convert to whatever suits your family's lifestyle and preference. So if you're looking for a home here in the District 20 slash D11 kind of zoning near the Thompson area as well as you love nature such as McRitchie Reservoir, free whole plot of land standing at about 5,000 odd square feet, then do come check out this very rare gem here that's located right beside the McRitchie Reservoir itself. If you want to have a physical viewing of the place, contact our listing managers. Their links are located right down below. If you enjoy landed home tours here with Property Lim Brothers, do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the notification bell. We're also on Facebook, Instagram as well as TikTok. If you want to know more about the real estate trends as well as market insights, head on to propertylimbrothers.com slash insight. That's where you'll find curated editorial articles done up by our content writers as well as our research team. My name is Mark from Property Lim Brothers and as always, happy to show you the place. Take care. You careful I don't draw the longkang. You stay here. Because let's go. Hey. Ayah, I want to transfer then to the northwest line. 
There's a northwest line, man. Now, let's head on upstairs and before we show you the rest. Oh, wait, I haven't shown it. <laughs> Oops. Go ahead, Messi. <laughs> okay, there's a lot as well again. <laughs> I'll get it down below, right? Um, my hand is cannot touch the sofa. <laughs> you know, is it funny? It was like, hey, it's the thing. <laughs> we are done. <laughs>